This is a USB Logitech camera. I turned my USB Logitech camera into wireless. Then connect to this TV. Other than that, he has a voice. Hello. Of course, you can also connect this USB microscope. It is used in a classroom or a USB document camera application in teaching. Of course, DJI Pocket 3 can also be transferred wirelessly to the backend. You can also connect video switcher. Then you can also turn on the sound. No problem. The sound turns on. I'm going to share it today. How to transfer your USB to the camera. It becomes a wireless HDMI. Then connect your TV. The principle is the same. You can also connect this USB microscope. USB document camera. The DJI Pocket 3 is no problem either. First of all, the TV interface only has HDMI. First, turn USB cam into the. So let's use this one. This one is called USB camera streaming adapter. Let's connect the USB webcam to this interface. This is USB webcam input. And then there's an HDI output here. The HDMI output is still wired. We are going wireless. You can buy some HDMI wireless transmitters on the market. In the case of my demo today, I use this one. This is HDMI TX and RX. Just two cable. This one is HDMI TX. This one is HDMI RX. HDMI TX is connected to the converter. HDMI output is wireless. This line is HDMI RX. We are connected to the TV. It needs electricity. It just so happens that our converter has a storage place provided with power. Power is provided for this transmitter. And then I'm going to plug in the HDMI output. That's when your HDMI becomes wireless. And then we are going to do the reception on the TV. This one is the RX of HDMI. We are attached to the back of it, but this way in. Then this one needs power. I'll just provide 5 volts of power. Usually your TV, it also has USB power supply. It's okay to just connect it in. That's it. You see, it's a blue picture. That's because our converter isn't powered on yet. We'll just have to put the power supply up at the end. This is a 5 volt power supply. Go up to him. This connection comes in. Look, there's power over here. And then you wait and see there's going to be a blue light over here. Indicates that they have successfully connected. You see the lights are on here. Okay, that's when the TV comes in. See? No problem. It's smooth, smooth, no problem. I'm going to have a Logitech camera now. It's no problem to switch to this DJI Pocket 3. All I need is a USB-C cable. Connect it to the USB-C port of the Pocket 3. We are connecting to this USB web comma input place. Plug it in and you're ready to go. At this point, DJI Pocket 3 will become a wireless HDMI. You see, no problem. There is no problem with the sound either. Hello, hi, good Hello. morning. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I had no problem connecting the video switcher. Plug video switcher power supply into the HDMI output. Connect to a TV. The original receiver. Connect to Atom Mini Pro Channel 1. Channel 2 is fine. I'm connected to channel 2, okay? That's it. And then this one is also going to power him. The output of HDMI is connected to the TV. That's it. Turn on the sound. I turned the sound on. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Not bad. 
Connect document camera. Turn the USB microscope into wireless. Connect to TV and video switcher. There is a small detail to share with you. The HDMI wireless transmission device I use today, the format of the sound data outputs from HD is 48K HZ. But that's not all of this HDMI wireless transmission. All are 48, like this one, is 44.1. Of course, he promised me. He would give me a new version of the firmware. It's 48 out. If today his HDMI sound format is not 48, what would happen if it was 44.1? Atom Mini Pro is very special. It can only eat 48 of this sound format. I use 44.1 today. There's an interesting thing that happens with Atom Mini Pro. I'm going to transfer this HDMI wirelessly now. Swap it out for this black one. The same goes for the receiving end. Then I'll turn it on and give it to everyone. It will appear with the sound of Donald Duck. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Why is there a Donald Duck sound? It's because of the sampling rate of his voice. There is no match for this video switcher. This happens with the pilot. But if you're going to connect to the TV at the time, yes, there is no problem. I'm switching back now. Replace it with the one that was originally demo at the beginning. It sound is fine. I'll open it again for you to Hello. Hear. Hello, hello. Let's sort it out a little more. If you're going to transfer this USB camera to yours today, HDMI that becomes wireless when connected to your TV, then you have to do two things first. First things first, convert your USB camera to HDMI output first. HDMI is connected to an HDMI wireless transmitter. Then your back end display is a TV if it's a TV. Then just use it and it's fine. But if you have a back end monitor, when it's something like a broadcaster, then you have to pay special attention because the pilot usually can only eat 48K HZ. So if you receive a strange one, HDMI wireless transmitter, it's possible that this Donald Duck sound will appear. What about my one? I'm also trying to do it indiscriminately. It just so happened to come out that it was 48. What about this one? It was newly made by a manufacturer. It came out with 44.1. Manufacturer, he is willing to change 48. He's expected to be in a month at the most. He'll give me a new version of the firmware. I'm just here for the demo. HDMI wireless transmission equipment when connected to video switcher. Pay special attention. Is there a sound of this Donald Duck? 